presentation is just to make producers aware of the Drift Watch program and how producers can be utilizing this. So Katie, thank you very much for joining us today and sharing your knowledge. Yes, thanks for having me. Um, so for this Drift Watch presentation, I actually just took what I put out to applicators during their training. They go to training every two years and we go over Drift Watch pretty heavily there. So um, I thought it might be nice for specialty crop producers to see what the applicators are seeing as well. Um, so there's just our information if you wanted to call in or have any questions. Um, so what it is, it's a platform for collaboration between specialty crop producers, beekeepers, and pesticide applicators. Um, it's really trying to get bridge that gap between applicators who are spraying and those specialty crop producers who are worried about their crops or their bees. Um, it's completely voluntary and, fr and free. The only time it's not voluntary is if there are special restrictions on a pesticide which would be like dicamba they're required to check a specialty crop site before they spray um, and essentially what it comes down to is just a mapping program so if you were a beekeeper a specialty crop producer or an applicator you would go here and click however you wanted to sign up and then for applicators, what you do is you can draw where you're going to be making pesticide applications. So if there are any specialty crop sites that are approved in this square that we have on the screen here, um, you'll get an email notification. You can also do it by county or by the whole state. Um, so it just depends on what you would like to have, because some people do go all over the state to apply. Uh, I thought it would be good to get some more producers there on here, because last year our applicators skyrocketed. Um, and producers, you know, I want to, I just want everyone to kind of know more about it. Uh, so as I said, emails will be sent for each site that's approved in the area that you select. Um, if you are a beekeeper, you can mark your hives as private. So only certified applicators that sign up for Drift Watch and Field Watch will be able to see those sites. Um, it's basically just another point for applicators to um, make informed decisions in their line of work. There's also an app, so you can see everything there on your phone. Um, again, this is a lot of the, this is geared towards applicators, but I just thought it would be good information because there is an app so they can have it on their phone. They can overlay it. Um, aerial applicators can overlay it on their screens as well. So this is the specialty crop sites all throughout the US and Canada. Um, you can see there's quite a few here. And then these are South Dakota totals. Um, over there, all the red marks are beehives around the state. We do work with our state apiarists to put them all on there, regardless if you're signed up for Drift Watch or not, because we want it to be a tool that everyone uses and to reduce, you know, hive sprays when they're not needed. Um, then the other side is just our specialty crop sites for South Dakota there. So how it works from the applicator's standpoint is, say I'm an applicator and I'm gonna, you know, spray in this area here. Well, what I would do is I would see there's a beehive there and I would click on it. And then I have all of the information for that or for that beekeeper there. Um, so you'll get a name, an address, a phone number to call them, and maybe make, you know, arrangements based on what you're going to be doing. 
And then this is our specialty crop site. So what we want when you're mapping your specialty crop site is to do very specific. We want, um, we don't want houses in there and, you know, people who just want protection for random trees. We try not to do that because we want applicators to trust us in having, you know, a specialty crop site that they fully need to be aware of. You know, sometimes it gets a little hairy there with people who just don't like applicators at all. And it's, <laughs> you know, it can be a thing, but so if you are gonna map yours, try to be as specific as possible and don't add any buildings or anything in there that um, would kind of be misleading. So that's really all I have today. Um, it's pretty short. I don't, that's about it for, I think, you know, just getting awareness out there for both applicators, you know, cause I mean, applicators get this, every two years, but I hadn't really talked to any specialty crop sites that might might deal with it. Mm -hmm. Well, if that's all the questions everyone has, I'll kind of stick around here, but. Can you go to your next slide and pause on your email so um, oh, sure. you can write that down if you've got questions? Yes. Thanks. I should have put my email in there. Do you want to throw yours in the chat, maybe? Sure. Yep. But thank you very much. Yes, thanks and for joining us. I just put an eval in the chat box. If you could take a couple minutes and mark down your responses, it would help us out greatly. So thank you. Nat, have a wonderful lunch hour and afternoon. You too. Thank you all. Thank you, thank Gabe. You.